We'll get a taste of using both the Planet Scale CLI as well as their dashboard in this course. Let's start out at the dashboard to create our first database. So we can come down here to create and we can name our database Planet Scale Prisma is what I will choose. We get a choice for region. We've got a default to US East 1, but there's a whole bunch here. So have a look through, see what is closest to your users in general and pick the best one. It'll take a sec for the database to create. And once it's done, we're gonna see it initializing at first and we'll see some messaging once everything is complete. Now that it's done, we've got options to connect. We've got options to create a new branch. And right away, you might be thinking, what is this thing here? Create a new branch. That seems kind of like something to do with Git. And that's probably the most interesting part about PlanetScale is that it works off of a branching model. When it comes to making changes to our database schemas when we're working with PlanetScale, we're not dealing with migrations as we might typically do in our applications. Instead, we're going to work with different branches and then work with what are called deploy requests. And a deploy request is when we put up some changes against a branch and then we want to make those changes take effect to our main branch. To do so, we can open a deploy request, which is pretty much like a pull request. And we'll see more on that later as we make our way through the course.